Hey YouTube, it is Lucy and I have an amazing bag that I wanted to talk to y'all about. I asked all of y'all for a really good bag. I did not pack this bag for this video, so what you get is the way that it currently is, which I kind of figured would be more real life. I can tell you what's actually in here versus what I would like to have in here. This is a Sarah Wells bag. This is the bag that everybody recommended. Number one and only bag that anybody ever recommended was this bag. That to me spoke volumes. This is called Olive. It's the style of the bag itself is an Abbey bag. It's the really big bag. You have as many kids as I do and I can show you how like versatile this bag is. You'll see why I love it. But I am obsessed with the color green and leaves in general. So this bag, and I like that you got a little bit of a print to go with the solid. It's really nice. This holds four bottles. For me, it holds four bottles. On the back, you can put a picture of your baby. We have a Facebook page that's called VIP for Very Important Pumpers, which I thought was cute. And they have a wealth of information on their tips and tricks that I've never heard of until I got on that Facebook page. One of the things that I love about this bag is that it has the brown handles. Really cute, but it has a really nice grip to it. It just feels nice. You know the difference between cheap and like actual nice? It feels actual nice. This handle detaches. It is adjustable, which I love. Just adjusted this today, as a matter of fact. You have your little shoulder pad. You can take it off completely and just use these, or you can use this. I actually use this more than I use this. On the outside, you can see that it says Sarah Wells, which I love. It's nicely done. Again, it does not look cheap. It is very well made. This bag takes a beating with me having eight kids. It gets thrown about. It gets shoved in the bottom of the stroller. It's shoved into the vehicle and here you can put a picture right here which is really nice the pictures there's tons of options this is my big hefty duty pump i mean it fits a huge pump i keep the battery attached and i keep this attached so it's ready to go i can just pull my bottle out attach it and again easily done shove that back in there and as you can see it fit in really easy jump a little in there Make sure I don't zip up any cords. Takes all of two seconds. It's not bad at all. The other side has another pocket. This one is not as big as the one that I just showed you, but it is perfect for the on the go pump. I keep it ready. And since this pocket is smaller and I have a smaller pump that I keep in there. Oh, I guess, see what I mean by I don't have it fully packed. <laughs> I actually have an attachment that goes right here that is not currently attached. Because it is tiny enough, I can also keep a bottle shoved in there ready to go. On the inside of the bag, you have a spot for a photo again. And this pocket is big enough, let me put it back in here, that you can see that there is extra room. There you go. And this one zips up a lot easier than the other side because it's not as full. Now for the front of the bag, you have a little pocket right here. I say little, it's actually kind of big. Here you go. Right there, you can see my hand, how deep and wide it is. And then when you turn it around, there is another pocket. This one's the smaller one. Okay, this is the one I was thinking of at first when I said not as big. I don't have anything in the back pocket, but up here I keep gum because I like gum, so I keep gum. And then I have all my like cheat sheets for my Sarah Wells bag. On the inside, my bag is about to change now that we have gone back to school. It has a spot just for your laptop. Currently, where your laptop goes, I have a bunch of bottles shoved in there. Not only do I have bottles, but I have two brawls for pumping and two bottles. Keep in mind it holds so much more. Mine's kind of depleted right now. And I have this in there, some cream. One day I used the wrong size. I keep that in there now in case it ever happens again because I'm really traumatized. I have a current <laughs> dirty one, as you can see, that needs to be cleaned. I keep bags in there. This is the pocket that I was digging everything out of. It is a decent sized pocket. It has a nice brown closure. This is where I will keep my laptop. And then on the other side, you have another pocket right here that has a zipper closure. I normally keep Tic Tacs in there. I like the orange Tic Tacs. Here in the middle, I have my Pomparillo, which I will talk about here in a second. And then I have some extra, I normally only pump one side at a time, but if I'm in the position where I do need to pump both breasts, 
I keep this just kind of sitting there in the middle. Otherwise, I just keep one attached to both my pumps because that's all I ever need. Let me turn the bag around. And then you can see right here, they're like bottle pockets, which, well, they're bottle pockets for me. Keep extra bottles in there because you never know how many you need, how many you're gonna go through. These are my big ones. I keep my nine ounce bottles in there. Of course, they hold a lot more milk. But they don't fit in here with the top part attached. However, if you have this on there, it fits in the bag nicely. Let me unzip it. And you can see, ta-da, nine ounce bottles do fit, in case you are curious. And that's all I have in here. This is what it looks like empty. There are so many pockets, y'all. One of the cool things I love about this is when you're done pumping, inside where the pumps are, it collapses, and you can use it as a big, wide open, diaper bag or what I will probably end up using it for at school and then go back to, you know, diaper bag mode. It's, it's nice. I love it. Before I forget, it came with an ice pack. It's in my freezer right now. That's why it's not here, but it says Sarah Wells on it. I love that because we have so many ice packs and a lot of them are pretty similar. And I like the fact that it has the brand on it. So I know exactly which one to grab or I can have somebody else, hey, grab the one that says Sarah Wells, and I know it's gonna fit. This is a pump -a When you open it up, this is what it looks like. This is the size. You can tell in comparison to me. It does have a zipper in the front. It has the print on the inside. This is for like your dry pieces. Do not forget that you can go to the Facebook page, the Sarah Wells VIP for very important pumpers, and they have a just a wealth of information. Those ladies are amazing. This is what the inside of this zipper looks like. And one of my favorite features, and look, look how easy it zips. I mean, it's seriously just one of those like one-handed situations. But look, looks like the back of the bag, right? But it completely unsnaps and you can leave it attached like this lay it out on the counter after you clean your pieces for them to dry so they don't have to touch a nasty counter when you're out in public. How genius is that? But for some reason, doesn't matter what, you need it to come completely off and set it aside all by its little lonesome self to dry all your pieces. How cool is that? I love this. And then if you need to, you know, wipe it down and you can't at that moment, you can just shove it in your bag and do it later or if you're good, go ahead and reattach it. I love the way that the brand is done for all of these pieces. It's classy looking. It does not look cheap. I don't know how many times I can reiterate that because there are so many products out there that are name brand or whatever, and you just, you get it and it's like plastered all over it, but it looks crappy. And you're like, I really like the product, but I hate the fact that it's labeled the way that it is. I, it's like one of my biggest pet peeves. So I love how tasteful this is done. It just, it, it looks nice. I take mine and I just put it right here in the middle. We are going to repack this. I have my big nine ounce bottles that I'm going to put. Let me turn this, maybe you can see it. I'm going to put into the bottle holders right here. We have, it holds, they actually go pretty deep. I, don't, I mean, you those are nine ounce bottles and it's like, you can't even see them when you're doing it like this. Oh, it's so many things, y'all. Seriously, you just don't grasp how many things you can put in this bag. All the things. That's it for my review. If you have any questions, let me know. Until next time, bye YouTube.